Hi, my name is Dr. Pietro Aparicio from 72 Dragons, and today I will be speaking about a chronic inflammatory skin disorder, which is predominantly seen among the African American community and which has affected more than 31 million Americans. The best known Haitian American actress for her amazing performance in the sitcom The Jamie Foxx Show and the crime drama series NYPD Blue recently opened up about her chronic skin disorder known as eczema. This former fashion model turned actress Garcelle Bové, well known for her elegant lifestyle in the series, The Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, is diagnosed with this disorder and she's currently struggling hard with this obsidian skin condition behind the camera. Eczema or atopic dermatitis can be caused by immune system activation, genetics, environmental triggers and stress, or a combination of these. You will often notice a skin red and itchy. This 51-year-old actress mentioned in one of her statements that she initially did not know what exactly it was. It just kept appearing in different places on her body. And the more she was stressed about it, the more it come out. And she had no idea what is the exact solution to it. Over the years, Bové found various ways to diminish her dreadful condition, but it was just during last summer that it turned to be quite painful, mentions the actress. As she started noticing patches, especially behind her knees, she actually thought of crawling out of her skin because it was so irritating. And this refrained her from wearing halter neck tops or shorts as the dry, itchy patches of her skin was clearly visible, reiterates the NYPD blue actress. During the filming of Housewife, she actually has breakdowns but somehow she managed it as best as she can. And she has to deal with her ongoing battles. This has literally made Garcelle Bobé to abstain from perfumes, the scented lotions, and her favorite hat bath. Though the stress of a drama filled with reality show is inevitable. If you notice red itchy patches in your skin, consult with your doctor. That's all for now. These were some of the latest updates on health and healthcare. Stay tuned for further updates in my next video. Thank you.